Okay, so I have used drill doctors before and I have not had that good of luck with them because a lot of the stuff that I drill is a lot bigger than half inch and you can only get half inch drill bits into the drill doctors. And honestly, they're kind of expensive for what you get and it doesn't seem like you could actually use them for that long if you're drilling like hundreds and hundreds of drill bits like I do. Um, Cause I do a lot of work in salt water where you have to drill through stainless steel and plenty of stuff that's oxidized and your drill bits get rusty cause of the salt water and you're constantly drilling through stuff or you're hitting gravel and whatever because you go through and hit dirt and stuff like that. So my drill bits don't last too terribly long. But as you know, anything bigger than like a 3 8 drill bit starts getting really expensive, especially if you're using anything like, say, Norsemen or the Vikings or anything like that. Like the good ones that are for drilling through something like stainless steel or like even AR500 or like, um, like 1095 spring steel or anything like that, you really are going to benefit from having sharp drill bits because you'll go broke if you're just buying one every time one goes bad. And a lot of times you can get a lot more life out of your drill bits if you're using proper cutting oil. Uh, WD-40, it works, but uh, cutting lube will actually get a lot longer life out of your drill bits. But sometimes the situation, it just doesn't work out like that and you end up just having to drill through stuff and you're like burning your bits and you're just ruining them. So... So knowing how to sharpen your drill bits is a good idea. The drill doctors, they really seem, I hate to see it, but they really seem just like a homeowner's type of thing that you would get your father-in-law for, uh, for Christmas or something. But for somebody that drills a lot and goes through drill bits a lot and has to sharpen them a lot, I would not suggest this method. It works great for some people, but if you're doing it a lot, maybe not the best idea. Anyways, so I will show you guys what I do to sharpen my drill bits, and I do it very, very often. Probably, at least on a monthly basis, I'll sharpen my drill bits. Anyways, so I'll show you guys what I do. I just use a belt sander, so if you have a belt sander, then hopefully this will work for you. Also, if you are going to get a drill bit sharpener, I would suggest watching a Project Farms video on drill bit sharpeners. What we're going to try to do is sharpen our drill bits. It's the best way that I've found so far and as easy as drill doctors are, sometimes they just don't quite do as good of a job. Unless you're sharpening something that's completely out of whack, I think the 400 grit should work just fine unless you got to move a lot, a lot of material. If you got to move a lot of material, then you probably want to start with like a 240 and then switch to the, uh, to the 400. Even the times I've just sharpened with the 240, they're still sharp enough. But if you go all the way to 400, you definitely get a much smoother cut. Having clean sandpaper does help, but if it ain't clean, that's not the end of the world. Put something on here that can easily adjust the angle. So and then you will take your drill bit and you will just start matching the two different angles that are on your bit. One will be that angle and then one will be this angle. So I'll show you once it gets closer up. So it will be that angle right there. It's not very much, probably, uh, let's see, right about there. You just kind of put that edge until it's completely flat against the paper and then you will tighten her down. That is exactly 10 degrees. So the angle that I'm doing right now is this angle right here. And you can kind of feel when it hits flat and that's the angle that you want to maintain. So that is gonna look a little something like that. You can kind of see it match up right there. So that should be right at 65 degrees is what most of your drill bits are going to be. So you'll run that up against there. You should be able to see that when it meets at the right angle, it should meet and be completely flat. You don't want there to be gaps on either side. You want it to be completely flat all the way up against the entire face of the cutting edge. And then once you get your... Uh, degrees on there you will mount a piece of metal on there that holds that angle and we'll just use a c-clamp under here to hold that in place and then we'll start sharpening right at 65 uh -huh. with the splines i'm not sure how to do this angle except for 
just putting it up against there completely flat and trying to match it on both sides. And when you're sanding off one side, you want to do it even on the other side because you still want the center of the bit to be in the exact center. You could measure it with a caliper or just eyeball it. Typically I eyeball it and you can get it close enough that it doesn't cause any issues. As you can see, it is pretty dull. Um, there's some chips out of it. It's rusty from working near salt water, but we're gonna give it a sharpen and then see how it does cutting through some mild steel. So at this point, when I'm sharpening it, I will sharpen a little bit on one side and then I'll flip the bit uh, to the other side and sharpen the other side. So I'm constantly rotating the bit as I do it. I don't know if that makes a difference or not, but it sure as heck makes it a whole lot easier to, um, to make sure that chisel is dead in the center of your uh, bit and that you don't cut off too much from one side. It does take a little while, but I'm cutting a lot of this out of the video so that way I don't bore you with too much time of just watching the belt spin. All right. Might be kind of hard to see in the video, but you can kind of see that the edges there are a whole lot more clean and they are super, super sharp, but maybe hard to see on video. And then also when you do it, do it evenly so it keeps that chisel point exactly in the middle. And let's go ahead and throw it in the drill press and see if we can drill through anything. Might be kind of difficult to see because I'm not going to uh, pre-drill it and go up in the sizes. I'm just going to throw something on there and see if anything good happens. Get that guy nice and tight. Yeah. Okay, so yes, normally I would use some sort of a lubricant while doing this, but for the purposes of the video, I'm not going to. And normally I would clamp it down and normally I'd wear safety glasses, but I wasn't doing very much, so you just got to give it the old safety squint, if you know what I mean. But uh, that's a three quarter inch drill bit. So that is actually quite impressive, even through mild steel, that it can go right through it like that. Anyways, I'm out. You guys have a good day. Hope you get something from this. Adios.